Hey everyone, my name is Tyler and it is the Friday video of the year and if you recall a year ago I said this I wanted to wait until I had all my shit here so that I can make like a cribs episode and show you my whole place So I promise you I am going to make a good video and show you the whole new place and all of my Things in the right spots and yeah and now because so many of you precious people have reminded me that I haven't done it yet I figured I would show you guys my apartment finally Hey y'all and welcome to my crib come on in So here we have the living room This is Corey say hi hi he's gonna show you some of his favorite things in the apartment these are my entertainment weeklies, which I live for. I read them religiously and I love entertainment weekly. Here's like a little nook area. It's got all of our favorite books. It's The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I Am Not Myself These Days by Josh Kilmer Purcell. If you haven't read it, it's like amazing. Tyler forgot to mention that we have nine copies of this in our apartment. And he also forgot to thank me because I'm the one who told him about this book. The Lady Gaga photography book because she is my queen. Not all these books are Tyler's, some of them are mine. Well, I mean some of them are Tyler's, like he's just not that into you. It's not mine. I have a whole bunch of quilts from my mom. Made with love by mom. Love you mom. This is one of the crafty projects I did because our fireplace wasn't working and we like them for special occasions, mostly parties. But it looks cute either way, I think. This is where we keep our hookah, and we call it our government hookah. Government hookah rain. And mom, no, it's not for pot. No matter how many times you ask me, it's not for pot, I promise you. So we just got a new record player, and obviously the very first thing we got was born this way. It's like everything. This is my chair that I brought all the way from Michigan, and when we had our housewarming party, someone had their period in the chair. And here we have, this is just turning into like a Born This Way Lady Gaga festival, but we have a, our calendar and every day we go back and like say what we did the day before. Like the whole month is like full of what we did and everything like that. All the important things like Cher tweeted me on the 19th. Here we are in the bathroom. And this is where somebody came into my life and took my belongings. If you haven't seen that video, I made a video about it, but somebody came into here and took some hair product. We are restocked, we are ready to go, so I know how much I have, so I'm watching you. My favorite thing in the bathroom is my bacon band-aids. Because who doesn't want bacon band-aids? This poster I found online and I loved everything that it said and I love that we can just stand and reread it every day while we pee. But it's just got good things like life is simple, travel often, life is short eat lots of food, you know, like, good things you should remind yourself on a daily basis. So here is the kitchen, this is where we make food, and eat food, and drink alcohol. So this is my favorite side of the fridge, it's where I keep all of my Darren Chris magnets, come here, you can see, they have like little, um, bow ties, and you can switch what outfit you put on him. So like if you want them to like look like that or like just like that. And obviously we gotta represent some Michigan State pride, go green. Do I tweet about being obsessed with bacon because a lot of people send me bacon things like this bacon magnet that says bacon makes everything better. I mean, I do love bacon, but I'm starting to get a lot of bacon things around the apartment. So if you know me, you know that I like to drink and when I do, I sometimes indulge in some red wine. So here's like all of my red wine to choose from for any given evening. And since we moved here, we've kept all of our corks so we can keep track of just how much of a problem we have. So as you know, I really like food, but I'm a really bad cook. But that doesn't stop me from having a whole bunch of cooking books. And my favorite one is this one. It's a whole bunch of like pizza recipes. Look, it's like, look at all these pizzas. I've never made one, but I sometimes just look at it because it's like food porn. This is my bacon cookbook. My favorite part of the kitchen is probably my coffee pot because if you know me, you know that I need caffeine to live. So I make coffee every day. So one of my favorite parts of the apartment is all of these pictures. We decided we wanted to like have people from home, people from school, people from our family, and then people from here that we've met, just to have all the people that are loves of our lives here. And if you come closer, you can see me and my mom from my 21st bar crawl. I'm wearing a tiara. Here's me and Corey. See, roomies. Of course, on the wall I had to include a picture of me and my mom, because we're cute. So if you follow me this way, you can come see my room. Come here. So here's my room. Here 
is my vision board. It's what I wake up to every morning and it's just like refreshing and a reminder of what I need to prioritize in my life. So here we have all of my P.O. Box stuff that I have yet to open. Stuff that we're gonna open on camera soon, me and Corey, so stay tuned. So here is my view, and this is what I get to see every morning, and I absolutely love it. It just is like, like I'm not even in a city, and it's like trees everywhere, and like shrubbery, and flowers, and it's beautiful, and it feels fresh. Here's my terrarium. If you can see, there's like a couple having sex in it, and then my iPad. Here is my bedside table, so I have like my keys, my wallet, a candle, some of my favorite books, like I Am Not Myself These Days, and Dry, and The Five People You Meet in Heaven, and actually this book, if you can't tell, is an iPhone dock, so I can charge my iPhone on that, which I love. This is my shit shelf, and it's just a whole bunch of my junk, and you'll probably recognize a lot of this stuff from a lot of my videos, like my pimp cup. Here is an actual baseball that I actually caught at a real baseball game because I'm just that sporty. My rock lamp. Here is my college graduation tassel from 2011. Here's a cup I got in Tokyo and it's got all the money in it from the different countries I've been to. Here is a pin I got when I co-hosted the red carpet for the Trevor Project, so I love this. My elephant piggy bank from Thailand. And a whole bunch of shit and knickknacks. It's just a lot of stuff that's like important to me. Like I have a postcard from when I did a video about the Trevor Project and they sent me a little postcard. This was years ago. It was the first time I did anything with them. And then I keep all my fortune cookies and I pin them on there. This is actually all the shit that I don't let Tyler put around the rest of our apartment. So this is my favorite hat. I wear it in a lot of videos and a lot of people ask me what it is. And if you see, it's Woody the Woodpecker playing golf. And it's not even my hat. I stole it from a friend back in college. So Chris, thank you for the hat. I never gave it back. Every time you've turned around, I've filmed your ass. <laughs> Here's my computer. It's my baby. If the apartment ever burned down, it would be the first thing that I would grab. I'm not even joking. So you might not know this about me, but I am actually a minimalist. Like, I try to, like, keep my possessions to, you know, bare minimum necessities. So, like, when I'm, like, trying to figure out what to wear, it's very easy. This is my favorite map of my favorite planet, Earth. Tyler already showed you his room, which is upstairs, and we call it the loft. My room's actually downstairs, and we call it the later. Come on! Welcome to my room. If you haven't noticed already, it's way cuter than Tyler's. No whining, no complaining, absolutely no frowning. Only hugs, smiles, and warm, fuzzy feelings are allowed. Thank you. Which I think is very appropriate for the bedroom. Um, that post over there is a Hemingway quote. It says, write drunk, edit sober. I'm sure you've seen it on Tumblr. A lot of people ask me if I'm a member of the KKK, and it's so annoying. It's obviously because my first and last name both start with the letter K, and I didn't know what else to put there. This is my barnacle lamp, and I actually got it for my 25th birthday. That's how cool I am when I turn 25. Sunglasses, and my camera, and a picture of my mom and my brothers. The Katy Perry voodoo doll, obviously, that I stole because I pinned her with number one hits. Here's the vision board we made that you saw already in a previous video. This is my beautiful magic mirror that I got from Ikea. And I talk to it every morning and tell myself that I'm the fairest of them all. And from my room actually exits onto our patio, which Tyler and I share. And we host fabulous barbecues. This is the patio. Here is where we barbecue a whole bunch of meat. And so we like, you know, cook shit and I'm in charge of the meat. This is where we get away from the city. Jesus Christ. So thank you YouTube for coming and checking out my crib, but now you gotta go. Get it. Get Hound Dog. Okay, bye y'all. So that was my apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah. So this week on Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook, I asked you guys if your house or apartment or whatever you live in is burning down, what would you grab? What is the number one thing you would grab? And these are some of my favorite responses. Wow, you guys. Everyone said their computer. Hmm. Shush. So comment below, I wanna know what you guys would take and I'm gonna be picking some of my favorite comments and putting them at the end of my next video. And if you recall, last time I asked you guys what would be your last meal and these are some of my favorite responses. Oh my goodness, it's dinner time and I'm hungry and this is not helping. But that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a wonderful life and I will see you next Friday. Bye.